hey, I have that flood watch for you for the aerial wide flood watch, all Western New York in this. And then we have a localized flood warning. Warning, I'll talk to you about that. We've got warm temperatures still continuing, and then we've got some rain on the way, and then those temperatures are going to tumble. Like I said, all Western New York, Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday evening. Tonawanda Creek, yours is still through Tuesday morning and then things will start to recede for us. Temperatures wise, look at this, winds coming out of the south, looks a little different this time. Your warmer temperatures, southern tier Pennsylvania, cooler temperatures towards the lakeshore. You can see bringing in those cooler air from the north. Now let's take a look at where those temperatures are supposed to be. A whole 20 degrees warmer than where we're supposed to be. Definitely warm and overnight, same thing. We'll have another mild night and some more mild temperatures on the way. It is quiet, so we get to the future cast by 11 p.m. You're seeing some of those rain showers towards Dunkirk. For the most part though, being quiet until you head to the early morning. Do you see this here? The oranges and the yellow, some more moderate to moderately heavy rainfall to greet you as you head out to work or school in the morning around the three-way corridor, the 90, 990, and around the three-way corridor towards the lakeshore. Then you see it overspread the area with widespread rain, this time seeing your heavier rain in the southern tier and Pennsylvania for Tuesday evening. Wind's still coming out of the south, so you've got warming air with it, but things start to change. That wind of change is going to bring colder air and sparking up that lake effect snow machine. It's going to be windy on Wednesday. And I'll show you some more about those temperatures in the seven day, but we gotta get through tonight. Mostly cloudy and warm with those temperatures in the 30s. Warm for your overnight, yes. Rain towards the morning. Let's get into your super seven day where we go in depth for you. We were looking at rain, some of that being widespread. The good news here is that the models are finally starting to back down on those rainfall amounts. If you were with me on Sunday, it was consistently around an inch for the Buffalo metro area. Now you're seeing it under a half an inch and things get a little more heavy as you head towards the southern tier, but it's still Still, everyone on this map is under an inch with your rain accumulation. I said it was going to be windy on Wednesday as well as that lake effect. So you know what I gotta do? I gotta toss that trash can. Let's find out where it lands. This time it's tipped over nearby. Your wind gusts anywhere between 30 to 35 miles an hour. If they peak more than that, be on the lookout for a wind advisory. Quiet on Thursday, but I told you we'd have a large scale system making its way Thursday night into Friday. Here's the good news with this. When I was looking at this on Sunday, this pink here, this wintry mixed precipitation of sleet and freezing rain, you really don't want that to stick around in our area and it's being pushed further south. However, we are pretty far away from the event. This is why I'm not even talking snow totals because I don't have model agreement and I don't even have placement agreement. But the reason I'm showing you this is because I want to give you a heads up that we do have a shot of snow later on into the week and if that moves further north, we could see some potential for icing in that. Now let's go into the rest of that seven day. Those temperatures still stick around in the 20s for the rest of that week. So we go from feeling like spring to feeling like winter. 